Hello, my dear friends. Thank you for joining me today for this day's devotion. Let's spend a few moments together with our Good Shepherd. I read today from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 29. No flesh should glory in his presence. Legend has it that Michelangelo painted with a brush in one hand and a candle in the other to prevent his shadow from covering his masterpiece in progress. That's the kind of attitude we should adopt if we are serious about wanting to display the masterpiece of God's glory on the canvas of our lives. Unfortunately, we tend to live in a way that draws attention to ourselves, our cars, our clothes, our careers, our position, our cleverness, our success. And when life is all about us, it's hard for people to see Jesus in us. As Christians, we are not to uh, hide his glory, but we are to be the reflections of his glory. But when we live for ourselves, our shadow gets cast on the canvas of his presence in us. When the believers in Corinth were feeling too full of themselves, Paul warned them that no flesh should boast in his presence and reminded them of what Jeremiah said, He who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Think of your life as a canvas on which a picture is being painted. What would you rather have people see? The masterpiece of the presence of Jesus or the shadow of your own profile? Remember, there is no Photoshop for our spiritual profiles. If we don't show people Jesus, they will see us warts and all. In the fallen state we are in, he will always imperfectly reflect his glory. Yet this fallen world needs to be reminded of how incredible our God is. If we can begin to grasp how great his love is, it will begin to manifest itself into our own lives. As our lives begin to line up with the principles of God's word, we radiate the glory of God's perfect wisdom and his perfect love. Paul reminds the Corinthians that the purpose of our redemption was that we might glorify God. So let us walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Don't get in the way of a great painting in progress. Live to let others see Jesus in you. We pray. My life is a painting created by God, and as such I have nothing to boast. Reflecting the image of Christ to the world is what I desire the most. Amen. Well, my friends, may you always be a light shining on the face of Jesus in you, that others may see him through you.